In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add a virtual classroom to an activity in Seesaw, then adding that activity to Google Classroom. Okay, so this is my Google um, or my virtual classroom that um, I actually got from or someone shared it in Bitmoji Craze for Educate Educators group and um, they were generous enough to share this and then I they didn't have any links or anything they just shared the classroom for anyone to use so then I added my links and things that I wanted to be um, included in this classroom and so this is a brain pop um, virtual classroom and so what I did was within brain pop um, I found the assignment or the lesson that I wanted my students to work on and this particular one is going to be on was on fractions and so um, where it says math I added the video quiz I added the quiz and then here is an extended reading component that was included um, within the the brain pop itself so we're going to go on over to um, seesaw and there I am going to show you how you would take this particular virtual classroom add it to your seesaw assignment but this particular assignment I'm going to use is going to be an existing assignment that was already created in seesaw so that you will know how to add your virtual classroom to an existing assignment um, if you you know you're looking for something in particular or you don't have time to create your own and then from there I'm going to show you how I would take the entire seesaw assignment and add it to Google Classroom so that the students would just have to click into Google Classroom and the Seesaw and Brain Pop assignment will appear. Let's get started. Okay, so I am here in Seesaw and I am going to go ahead. Um, right now I'm in my journal. You can click on activities and this will show you the different activities that you may already have um, or that you have created. In this case, I'm going to go ahead up here and click um, Add and Assign Activity. And then when I get here, um, if you want to create your own activity, you would go to Create New Activity. If you want to get an existing activity, you're going to click on Community. And then you're going to search for whatever it is that you're looking for. And then I'm going to go with the first one. And there are a ton. When you search for fractions, you're going to find all kinds of things that are already created. This is um, good if you want something that's already existing. And then um, when I click on this particular one, I'll show you how to add your virtual classroom into an existing um, activity. So I'm going to go with the first one. And I'm going to go ahead and click Assign because you have to assign it first before you can actually go in and add anything to it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to classroom and here is um, my assignment. So from here, I'm gonna click these three dots that are at the bottom and I'm gonna click edit activity. And everything is already pre-filled for you because again, it's an already existing activity. Um, the assignment, the template that they used is here. Um, if you want to replace that template, you can, but again, you were looking for something that was already um, created. So in this case, this is what I was looking for. So what I would do is I would go up here to add multimedia instructions or example, because this is where I'm going to add my virtual classroom. And then here, I'm going to click link. Now I'm going to go back to my brain pop room where I showed you earlier on what I what was created and then I'm going to go here to file publish to web and then I'm going to get the link and then I'm going to do command C if I'm since I'm on a MacBook to copy then X out you can also share it here 
and get a link as well. That's um, sharing it as a PDF. And then I'm going to go back to my activity in Seesaw and a link. And once the link is embedded, you're going to click the green check. Now, once you're here, you will see the display of your um, virtual classroom. Here, if you click on this link, um, it will expand it so that you will be able to see it. And this is also the um, model that your students will see, and they will be able to click on the links that you have um, provided for them within that group, within that virtual classroom. Um, once you get here, you're going to click the green check. And then you'll be back at this page. Make sure that when you get here to your student instructions that um, even though this is already created, you may have to go ahead and add some additional instructions to include your um, virtual classroom. Because the display that your students are going to see is this particular um, classroom here or this image here is what they're going to see on their side um, when they open up the activity. And, um, with it being published to web, students will be able to actually click on it and then it will just pull up. So make sure that those instructions are here so that the students will see those. And then once you get here, um, everything else is already there. The template is already there. So then you're going to click save. And see this is, and then here we are, and this is what your students um will see and then they will see these instructions here. So if you have one through six and then you add seven and eight, they're going to see those and um, just make sure if you do the voice record for the instructions that you um, edit that um, for the students to hear it. And then they, um, when they pull theirs up, they can just click on this and it's going to come up for them. And then they will click this where it says Brain Pop Room, this link down here. They will just click that again and it's gonna come up full screen for them. They will not be able to move anything um, on these particular pages, which is why it's good to publish to web. And so from there, let me hit this X to go back out. From here, I am going to now show you how to upload this full assignment from Seesaw into Google Classroom. Okay, we are here and you will to upload your um, assignment to Google Classroom. You will go to these three dots where your assignment is. You're gonna click Get Activity Link. From there, you're gonna click on the Share Link. And for me, since I use a MacBook, again, I use Command C to copy. Whatever um, laptop that you use, you would just use whatever command it is for that, for you to copy yours. Then I'm gonna X out of that. Then I'm gonna go to my classroom. I'm gonna go here to classwork. And it's gonna say create assignment. Well, create, and then you're gonna click assignment. There, and click got it. You can put your title. Um, I'm just gonna name my fractions. You will list any instructions or additional instructions that you want to include for your students. And then here, you're going to click Add. You're going to go down to Link. And then you're just going to embed that link. I use Command V because I'm on a MacBook. But again, you would use um, whatever command that it would take for you using your particular laptop. You're going to click Add Link. And then over here, um, you it has you have different options if you're creating an assignment you just want it to go to a specific students you have that option to um, choose those students or not um, you can add a rubric you can list the topic you can create a topic if you don't have one a specific due date what the lesson is um, the grade points that it's out of all that here where it says assign you can schedule to assign it at a different date um, whatever it is that you want to do. But here, I'm just gonna click Assign. And then there it is where it says Fractions. And that is the assignment um, for my students. Now, if you want to copy this link and place it um, somewhere else, 
You could do that by simply clicking copy link. It will copy that entire link for you and then you can embed that link into something else. Um, but if you're using Google Classroom, then you wouldn't need to embed it into anything else unless you want to flip it and say post it into Seesaw or some other platform. And so from there, I can go to stream and the students are gonna, their, their um, screen looks similar to this. And where it says, um, where I've posted a new assignment on fractions, the students would click on that. And for them, their assignment would, they would click on it and then it would come up and for them to work on. And this is where I was showing you where they will have to, um, you know, click on the things there and the assignment, the instructions would show will be visible here. And then they would click on, you know, everything else. So that is it. And that is how you add your assignments to a virtual classroom, take those assignments, add it to a seesaw assignment, and then put all of it into one platform so that your students will have to just have access to one thing and not have to click in three different places. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.